Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from windowslovers.com and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can install macOS Mojave or how you can use macOS Mojave on a Windows PC using a VMA workstation. So let's get started. Before we start, uh, there's a couple of things that I want to mention that you need uh, at least 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, I do recommend using 8 gigs or 6 gigs at least so that you can have enough um, RAM to run your Windows and your virtual machine at the same time. Uh, second thing is you got to make sure that you are using a dual core or a quad core PC. Dual core would be the bare minimum because computers need an adequate amount of power to power both machines, uh, say in your case the operating system which is the Mac OS Mojave and the operating system that you're using. There's a few things that you need to download first. The first one is the VMware Workstation Player. We're going to be using 15.1 version. Uh, there's a reason for that we'll, which I will explain later. Second thing is your Mac OS uh, Mojave image. And the third one is the unlocker for the VMware Workstation Player. So what the unlocker does is your VMware by default doesn't have an, any option to install uh, macOS as a guest operating system. So with the unlocker, it allows us to install macOS on the uh, on the VMware Workstation Player as a guest operating system. The main reason is because Apple doesn't allow uh, any users to install its um, operating systems on hardware that is not allowed by Apple. So once you have everything downloaded, we can start uh, the process of installing macOS Mojave on a Windows PC. So like I said, you need a Mojave image, you need an unlocker and you need a VMA player. The first things first will be to install a VMA player. It's a pretty easy, uh, straightforward installation. I already have VMA Player installed on my PC, so I'm not going to install it again, but you should not have any issues installing the VMA Player on your computer. Once you've installed your VMA Workstation Player, what you're going to do is you're going to unlock the VMA Workstation. So for that, you're going to make sure that your VMA Workstation is not working in the background and extract the unlocker. And once the unlocker has been extracted, open the unlocker folder and you should see a win-install. So what you will do is you'll right click on it and run as a administrator. Make sure you run as an administrator, otherwise you want the script won't be able to execute and unlock the VMware services for you. So as you can see, it's doing its thing and it will unlock the VMware workstation player. Now guys, if you have any issue, if you uh, come and run into any issues while installing the VMware Workstation Player, do let me know in the comments below and I will uh, try to resolve whatever issues you have. So now it's starting VMware services. So, so now the VMware Player is unlocked. So what you will do now is you will open the VMware Workstation 15 Player. As you can see, I already have an image installed, but I'm going to do a fresh new uh, virtual mach machine installation. So when you get on the dashboard, you will see different options. We will click on create a new virtual machine. There's three different options. You will select, uh, I will install the operating system later. And you will now you will now see an Apple Mac OS X option on the option to select a guest operating system. So what it will do is you select 10.14 because that's what that's the version of Mac OS Mojave. Click on next. You can give a virtual machine any name and you can change the location where you would like to store the virtual machine. I'm just going to click next and split virtual disks into multiple files. That's fine. And in the final step, what you can actually do is you can go to customize your hardware and you can change a couple of stuffs like your memory so this gives you the maximum recommended memory 
as in depending on the amount of memory your computer has and the recommended is 2 gigs so I have about 16 gigs in my uh, system so I'm going to give it about 4, 4.5 gigs of RAM and I have a dual core uh, processor so that means I have number of processor cores 2 times 2 so that I've got 4 cores so I'm going to give 2 cores to the virtual machine so once you've selected your number of processors and the number uh, and the amount of memory that you like to uh, allocate to the virtual machines click on close click on finish and before you start the virtual machine what you will do is go to edit virtual machine settings what you will do is you'll add you'll add a hard disk uh, leave it on recommended and the option you need to change is use an existing virtual disk so choose this option and click on next and existing disk file so now in this step you will go back where you downloaded Mojave's image and select the VMDK virtual machine uh, virtual disk file once you look at that click on open finish and never convert just click on keep existing format so once that's done what you can do is you can remove this older hard disk okay and play the virtual machine sometimes a lot of users uh, get stuck and get error message while on the Apple logo so if you are receiving error do leave a comment down below and I'll try to find out solutions for the issues that you're facing alright so depending on the system it might take uh, 5 minutes to 10 minutes to 15 to 20 minutes uh, depending on how much resource you have allocated to the virtual machine so on my system with uh, 16 gigs of RAM uh, SSD and 4 cores out of which I've, I've allocated 2 cores uh, CPU and a 6 gig RAM to the system it, it took about 10 minutes for everything to load so just keep that in mind before you actually close the virtual machine and do everything again or lo lose hope it takes uh, at least 10 to 15 minutes so once everything's loaded you should see a welcome screen so I'll choose a location Australia continue look one thing to keep in mind is you will be very very laggy and very slow when you start but there's a lot of tweaks and uh, workarounds that you can apply to the system later on once you've finished the installation that will actually make this uh, system very smooth and actually usable so throughout the installation process the, it, it will be very choppy and it will be very very laggy so just keep that in mind um, and I will definitely have another video up uh, on how to install tools and utilities that can actually make your macros a bit faster so you can if you have any information you can transfer to the Mac but I'm not gonna transfer anything at the moment so it will ask you to sign in with your Apple ID so what you can do is you can click on setup later or you can in uh, you can enter your Apple ID if you have one there but I'm just gonna set up later and just could skip it Terms and conditions, disagree all the terms and conditions. Agree. Alright, so it's asking for your name. Password. I'll just continue. You can customize settings if you like, or you can just continue. You can choose your look, light or dark theme. It's going to go with the light theme. And now it's setting up your Mac. 
so you, you might take a couple of minutes to set up your Mac and after that you will be all good to go to use um, your Mac OS on your virtual machine. Alright, there you have it. That's how you can uh, install or use Mac OS Mojave on a Windows PC. This is only a part one of the video and because I don't want to, I did not want to make a really long video. So uh, there'll be a part two of how you can uh, get full screen or how you can um, actually make your Mac OS Mojave a bit more smoother on your Windows PC. So uh, the link to the video will be in the description once it's up. And if this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. Thank you.